to be here in my top secret laboratory in the land of Jama. As you probably know, I've got a lot of experience in dealing with giant snakes. And it seems like I've been getting a lot of questions lately on just that topic, giant snakes. Hey, what's up with giant snakes? Hey, Dr. B, what's a constrictor? Constrictors are snakes that use their powerful muscles to kill prey. They wrap up these animals in their powerful coils and then put on the big squeeze. That's called constricting. How strong are pythons and how hard did they squeeze? Squeeze force. Yeah, yeah, squeeze force of giant snakes. That's a great question. And we can answer that question because I know that I've got some stuff here in my lab that I can make into a squeeze force meter. I've got an old piece of exercise equipment which I can modify and turn into an awesome scientific device. I think we can pull this thing off, but I can't do it by myself. We're gonna have to work together to succeed. You see, you're gonna have to make critical decisions at every step along the way, which will determine whether we succeed or fail in our quest to find a giant python and measure its squeeze force. I hope you're up for an adventure, but to succeed, I'm definitely gonna need your help. To make things easier for us, I got a secret weapon, this map. You see, years ago in the wilds of Borneo, a wise old man gave me this secret old map. And he said, use it if you ever wanna find a giant snake. If we look at the old map, there's a number of places we can check out. We can go to the dry desert, maybe the cold mountains like Mount Shavir in Jama, or how about the swamp forest? It's up to you. Where do you think is the best place to look for a giant python? That's a good decision because big pythons are really heavy and they like to use water to help support their weight. Water that you'd find in a swamp forest. Great choice. You see what I see? Look, look at these holes. One, two, three, four, five. What do you think lives in these holes? These might be spider holes, like giant spiders. Okay, it's up to you. How should we investigate these mystery holes? Should I stick my arm deep inside and feel around? Or should I stick my head in and look and see if anyone's at home? Or use a stick and poke around inside? It's your decision. Use a stick to poke around in the hole and see if anyone's at home? Great decision, because that's far and away the safest method to explore an animal's den. Oh, look, look, it's a spider, spider, it's a spider. That is a tarantula. That is awesome. Whoa, whoa. Look at that bad boy. That is a tarantula. Tarantulas are like super spiders, the world's largest species of spider. They have eight legs and they're not really aggressive, but you gotta be careful because they've got huge fangs, a lot like a snake. Yikes, don't go up my sleeve. Spiders kind of freak me out, so I'm gonna put this bad boy back. Go home, whoa. That was awesome, but ugh, those things kind of freak me out. I'll be perfectly fine if we don't see any more of those things. Let's continue our quest.
All right, this is a little confusing, but I think that we're on the old road right here. And the swamp forest is north of the old road. But the problem is we need to know which direction is north. What could I use to help me determine which way is north? Moss on trees? Two sticks? Or maybe a compass? What do you think? Great choice. Because you see, a compass is a tool which tells you direction. It has a floating dial with an arrow which always points north. So you look at the arrow and you know that's the direction which is north. The map told us the swamp forest is north of where we're at, so that's the direction we want to go. This way. Let's go.